Molly Ephraim plays Little Red Riding Hood in Into the Woods, and I'm very pleased to say she joins me now. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Now, we must first of all talk about your age, because you're only how old? I'm 16. That's an amazing age to be a star of such a big Broadway musical. Firstly, how do you feel being in this incredible production? Um, it's it's amazing. It's my first show on Broadway, and... Um, uh, you know, I started when I was 15. I had my sweet 16th here with the cast, which was really cool. Um, it's it's amazing. You know, it's a big dream come true. I didn't think it would happen this early. I had no intention of it happening this early, but, uh, you know, things worked out. So. What about this voice? Where did it come from? Was it trained or was it God-given? Have you always been able to sing? I, I don't think so. I think it was more trained. Um, I started dancing was, was my passion when I was much younger. I started dancing when I was about three and um, went to acting lessons with some friends from dance class and then kind of progressed like that. Um, so I think singing definitely was, you know, the last to kind of come. And I still think of that as, as my weak spot. I'm still working on that a lot, you know. Um, but I, I I think that dancing is, is uh, you know, the top for me. So. What do your friends think at school when you told them that you were going to be on Broadway in this huge hit? They were really excited. They were excited uh, for me, but also because um, there's a show here that used to be on the air called Two of a Kind with the Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen twins, um, and one of our cast members was in that show. So they were excited about that, and they were excited about Vanessa Williams uh, and the fact that they would have somebody who knows Vanessa Williams and that sort of thing, but they were excited for me. It was, it was neat. When you found out Vanessa was going to be in the show, how did you feel? Were you nervous about being up against such a big star? I was definitely nervous. I was, uh, I got the call when my, my parents did. I was away at school and I came home and uh, they kind of did something corny and said, you know, are you ready to go into the woods or something like that? And, and we just said, oh my God, for the next three hours or something <laughs> like that. So, um, it, it was neat, you know, first day of rehearsal, we get in there, and I guess there was a sort of icebreaker type dance thing, you know, kind of partner dancing that we would do, and Vanessa was right next to me, and she reaches out her hand and says, hi, I'm Vanessa Williams. I was like, I know. <laughs> it, was, it was a little, little nerve-wracking in the beginning, but, um, you know. What is she like to work with then? I mean, she's got a great voice and a great presence on stage, but what is she like as a person? She's amazing. She's unbelievable. Like, you know, today's been a busy day for me, but then I, I look over at her and she's got four kids and her husband's on the Lakers and she's working in the show and she's doing commercials and she's doing another show and she's just always traveling and flying and everything. It's unbelievable. Um, I slept over her house one night and, uh, you know, we went to bed at our usual hour for us actors, which is like 1230 or one or something. And she wakes up, you know, rise and shine at about 9 a.m. So that was that was amazing for me. I want to talk to you about you being a star in a big musical because to cope with that at your age must be very, very difficult because you're given all the uh, compliments of the theatre with a dressing room and I'm sure you can have everything you want <laughs> and I presume the money's slightly better than doing a paper round. How do you cope with all of that? Um, I it's it's definitely difficult sometimes. Like today, today I'm, I'm pretty tired. Um, I have I have school during the days on um, when we don't have two show days. So, for instance, on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, um, and that's difficult. I'm kind of getting used to now five hours of math a day. It's kind of the norm for me, even though it's you know my eyes are popping out of my head, but it's. Uh, it's difficult, but it's it's really worth it once I get what once I get here. And sometimes if I'm really tired, um, you know, it's just kind of a blur. And I'll get into my costume and I come downstairs and I start the show. But I realize once you start the show, it's like a three hour roller coaster ride. You're not getting off by any means. Now I think you're going to be a big star. I'll tell you for why for two reasons. One, because you have charisma on stage, and that's that's very rare as somebody of your age because it normally comes with time. And Vanessa will have it because she's done it mm -hmm. for so many years. How have you worked on your on stage? presence because also you're on throughout the show which is very rare for some of someone of your age normally they're bit parts where you come on and off and you don't say much you've got so many lines so many positions and so many songs mm -hmm. i uh, i probably shouldn't say this if if i'm giving away the uh, the end of the story but i am one of the people that live uh, i won't go any further than that but um <laughs> You know, so I am on a lot, uh, especially on the second act, um, because it's 
it's very it's the second the second act's very interesting because um you know it changes throughout the woods but it's not as um you know there's not as many like scene changes as there are in the first act and it's it's kind of a deeper darker second act but um i don't know um i guess i guess i would say um you know being being on stage like that being uh, in demand on on stage it's it's difficult um but i it's it's really fun and i think um having stage presence comes from from dancing i do believe that um starting dancing earlier than i started my acting and, and singing um that i learned how to hold myself and, and do things like that you've had an interesting career you've been in things like annie and carousel mm -hmm. um you, you're now here on broadway but you travel home on your day off i believe to pennsylvania that's yeah. incredible yeah um my my brother and my dad live back home with our pets and uh you know keeping the house down and enjoying some man-to-man -man time and <laughs> that sort of thing and, you know we we thought that it would you know that the house would be a mess and they'd be you know eating fast food every day but they're, they're keeping it together pretty well <laughs> so where are you staying here then we're staying my uncle actually has an apartment here in the city so we're staying with them what do you make of broadway in new york because there's a lot of tourists here and i know mm -hmm. what a lot of the things that the actors in london say is that most of the time people who come to see the show are not from london mm -hmm. and probably not even from britain it's probably the same on broadway does that bother you that a lot of foreigners and tourists are actually in to see your show and certainly in the city do they get in your way no i don't i don't think so um you know i think because i don't want to discourage uh other people from seeing the show but i think because it is sondheim it, it would help to to know english sometimes um when there's tourists from other countries that come here you know they can enjoy the set and things like that but it's it's such a great show though uh you know it doesn't it doesn't bother us at all i liked it for the fact that it's brilliant to look at and the singing's perfect and the scenery's not overly done so that it distracts away from your performance but also it's very witty and it's very cleverly worded you can find gags there if you want to find them if you don't it doesn't matter it doesn't yeah. spoil the plot it's quite clever yeah sondheim uh, sondheim is a genius <laughs> we've we've come to learn and we we knew that we knew that before but with, even with working with him um it, you know, we just have such an appreciation for him. Um, as you said, the, as you said, the the sets are beautiful. They're um, like big storybooks that turn around and move. And I just remember the first day that we came into Los Angeles when we we started there, and um, it was the first day that we came to the theater and the sets were up, and they were telling us, you know, you have to stay here in the lobby. You have to stay here. And one by one, we're all running and, <laughs> and peeking at the sets and just, uh, you know, just standing there in awe because they're they're amazing. You seem like a very confident person, and you certainly know what you're doing on stage, but nerves very, very finely. How do you cope with looking out at thousands of people every night, or at least that first night when you went on stage? Um, it's it's a little... I, I think I have, I have the butterflies in my stomach every night um, before I come out, and I think that that's good. I think that if I ever lost that, then I'd know that something was wrong, because I, I can't just be that easy going with it. I should, I should feel some excitement for the show. Get your pen and paper out. Write this name down. Molly Ephraim, she's the star, one of the big, big stars of the musical Into the Woods. We're going to hear you sing now. And this is beautiful. This is your big song, isn't it? Where you're stood there, center stage, mm -hmm. the lights are down, so it's you and you're mm -hmm. singing. That must be pretty pretty nerve-wrenching, I would have thought. It's pretty intense. Um, it's, it's right after the... I am rescued from the belly of the wolf by uh, a baker, not a woodsman or huntsman in this one it's a baker lovely to talk to you today molly from let's hear it then i know things now this is the big song from into the woods on the magic of the musicals on broadway 